Hello adventure lovers and welcome to a walk through the conversion. This is your host Kadushi. Walk through the conversion is one of our series wherein we do as the name goes. We walk through one of our newest customizations and conversions. Today's episode features Election Express Volume 2. Similar to Leviathan, which is an election campaign vehicle initially rented and later sold to TV Today Group's Ajtak. Leviathan was an election campaign vehicle with three expandable decks, giving you room to grow for a PCR room, a newsroom slash conference room on the go. The custom-built washroom and a rooftop stage that is accessible from the stairway through the inside easily makes Leviathan one of the most luxurious election campaign vehicles created by Motorhome Adventures. Now, without digressing too much from today's conversion, presenting to you Election Express Volume 2. Based on a Bharat Benz 1623 12-meter chassis, it's a blend of a home on wheels but with Election Expressy or Election Rut-like features, which is the more known term. A brief about the cabin that seats two and controls AC, power unit and whatnot. Now we're actually standing on the top of one of the most important features of this rut. A motorized multi-drive chain link based lift that has a payload of up to 500 kilograms. Functions through gear motors and is operational through both remote control or manual supply. Now do not let this technical term drift you away from the concept. This mechanism is used mostly in ships or in places where space is a constraint. Thus, the hydraulics cannot be used, whereas the height of elevation is not too steep. There are custom-built all-weather speakers on the sides along with two 43 smart TVs, four security cameras and a rear cam. Now that we have covered most of the exterior, let's walk through the interior while experiencing the lift that we just discussed. While we're moving downwards, you can actually see the control room, which in future would contain a foolproof control system to control the PA system, which indubitably makes this one of the most effortless election rut on the go. Coming to the ground floor, we are greeted with a minimal yet chic interior, holding a seating setup for up to six people at once. Now, can we pan the camera to this seating setup for a moment? Each recliner can not only recline but also swivel up to 180 degrees, making the conversion of a passenger seat to a lounge room to a conference room on the go easy with a tranquil swivel. Each recliner consists of a couple of cup holders as well as charging sockets. There is a 53 inches smart TV along with a smart music system and mode lights that are traveling throughout the reinforced fiber panels. And check this out, the color changing lights that can be operated through a single switch to turn from a cool white to a warm white to a warmer white. There's a 40 kVA auto AC slash heater, a 2.2 ton cassette AC that functions through a power hookup, or in this case, a 7 kVA genset that's stored on the rear exterior of the co-pilot side. Now, I think we have pretty much covered everything in this lounge area. So let's move to the kitchen. The kitchen requirement of our client was very minimal. There's an induction top, a microwave, a customized 100 liter fridge that operates on both AC and DC supply, a sink and some storage compartments, which makes for a fine kitchen on wheels. Now, what do we say about a motorhome adventures creation without a bathroom space? Pretty much doesn't exist, except for creations done for clients specifically according to their requirement, wherein they do not require a bathroom space. All that to move to our next station, which is the bathroom. Lights off means it's vacant, lights on means it's engaged. Now, let's unvacant it for a moment. This is a decent sized bathroom considering it is on wheels. The complete bathroom space has been designed using reinforced fiber panels, making it lightweight. 
the commode setup here as always has been designed using the pneumatic activating wall based technology making it odor free and the cleaning and discarding process as easy as pressing a button there's a urinal a vanity space hot and cold shower supply as well as a basin a fresh water tank capacity of up to 300 liters and a black water tank capacity of up to 100 liters and that still does not conclude this episode of a walk through the conversion we have one more room to go which is the bedroom the bathroom is accessible from both lounge room as well as the bedroom there's a queen size bed adjacent to which there's a recliner as well as a pop-up table concluding with some final amenities such as an auto ac slash heater a 1.3 ton cassette ac on the roof along with a 53 inch smart tv a music system and color changing lights just like in the lounge and before i forget to mention there are mesh curtains throughout the windows both in the lounge room as well as the bedroom now this finally concludes this episode of a walk through the conversion now before we sign off although you have seen the view at night we are still going to show you a cinematic shot of how the ambience looks at night so enjoy we hope you like this walk through and this conversion if you are interested in owning an election rath a lounger on wheels a camper van or any other kind of customization then make sure to check out the description box for more information you can connect through email through whatsapp or even through a call like and share this video with other people and check out our other series as well as the other episodes of walk through the conversion subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels i am now actually going to take a nap thank you so much for coming by motorhome adventures signing off